Hi everyone, welcome to the Sack Race Reacts. We are talking Oldham today. We've got Oldham fan Chris Stringer. Chris, first of all, what is your Twitter handle? Uh, Stringer underscore OEFC. Fantastic. And secondly, Harry Kuhl is gone. What do you make of his departure? Oh, it's just it's just exhausting. Um, I think seven months he's been in charge, and it's another manager gone under under this current ownership, and actually a little bit before that as well. Um, you know, I wasn't overwhelmed with joy at the performances in recent weeks, but I also don't think that they've been poor enough to warrant a change in manager. And I just don't get what we achieve by changing managers every five minutes. Because from a sort of outsider's view, it seems to have been quite an entertaining ride. You've, on one hand, you conceded so many goals, I think the highest in the league. But then on the other hand, you scored second highest, I think. What, what have you made of this sort of style of play that Kuehl brought to Oldham? Um, I mean, uh, particularly away from home, I think we, we play some really quite exciting football. Um, at home, we've been just, just terrible. Um, and the defensive issues have been a real concern. Um, I've, I've made some arguments that we could probably do with um, bringing in a defensive coach to, to have helped him out there. Uh, and of course, we've had the situation with David Weeter being exiled from uh, the first team. that I don't think has helped him out either. Um, but overall, I thought there were glimpses of hope for his quality of football enough to merit a little bit more time to see what we could get from him. I think there's been about, I mean, I lose count now, but around 13 permanent managers since Lee Johnson left in uh, 2015. Yeah. Why do Oldham make so many managerial changes? What is it about the uh, the curse of the dugout, if you will? I, I, I'm not sure uh, entirely. I mean, some of these were under the former owner. We always had a change of ownership a few years ago, and it, it's gone from you know pretty poor in terms of the amount of time managers got to surreally poor. It's, it's just been you know I think the average ten years, a couple of months under under the Lansigan brothers. Um, so. Uh, I think the owners are difficult to work with, um, but I also think there's just a philosophy that we've, we've fallen into League Two and there's a desperation to get back up and we're, we're not close to that. So it must put massive pressure on whatever manager comes in. It also must put managers off. Um, just got the market up here at the time of our recording. Keith Curl is a one to four favourite, the former Northampton manager. Uh, would you like to see this one happen? I don't think it matters too much who the manager is at the moment. I think I think the problems are higher up than that. Um, in terms of Keith Curl coming in, he's, he's got a good track record in League Two. Um, obviously helped get Northampton up uh, and it did some good work with Carlisle. Um, you know, I'm not I'm not opposed to him coming in, uh, but I think we need to see bigger structural changes. Really, could you see like a, a short term? I say short term. All appointments seemingly short term at the moment. But do you think could there be an appointment from within until the end of the season? Uh, we did bring a, a, a new coach in at the start of the season who I think our owner had worked with previously and he's got good, a good youth record uh, on the continent. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. I wouldn't be surprised to see him um, brought in temporarily to see out the rest of the season and then making a permanent decision in the summer. In terms of going forward for your next permanent appointment, who would your personal pick be? Good question. Um, I, I'm not. I'm really not sure if I'm honest. I, you know, Keith Curl is available. I, I don't think he'd be a, a bad decision. Um, but I, you know, as I've said, I think there needs to be bigger changes than that. Could you see uh, John Sheridan coming back? Uh, no, he had a rather big falling out with our owner when he was last in charge during the time that there was the change of ownership and Richie Wellens um, became manager. I think uh, I don't think that one's going to be healed anytime soon. And we, we always see um, here at the Sacre, Sol Campbell is always linked with the League One and League Two job. Do you think that one could work out? He, he did a good job with, uh, with Macclesfield and I don't think he was doing a, a bad job with Southend either. Um, I think Campbell's style of management, he's quite a, quite a hands-on manager. I think there would be a lot of clashes with the owner. Um, I think there needs to be a manager that's comfortable working with a, a sporting director, director of football. Um, and, and someone that's happy to take a lot of uh, lot of discussions with the owner about the style of play. Uh, and I'm not sure Saul Campbell would be particularly conducive to that. And where do you see um, Harry Kuehl going from here? Because he's had a few jobs now in the Football League. Um, do you see him coming back into English football? Or do you think he could go back to Australia or maybe somewhere in Europe? 
I seem to remember an interview at the start of the season where he sort of suggested this was a make or break for him. Um, obviously, he had um, not the best time at Notts County, and I think Crawley fans took to him a little bit more than Notts County, but you know his time there wasn't exactly building glory either. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised to see him move away from England to try and get managerial positions, because I think it will be difficult for him now. And if you had a message for the owners from a fan perspective, what, what would you say to them? Please, please, please bring in a manager that's going to settle for a bit, give them a little bit more say over uh, transfer decisions and style of play and, and just let them settle in and stay for a little while to try and actually build something and get us out of League Two. That's what every fan wants. You've got to give, give managers time. I mean, you've got to be, be patient and then you hopefully see, see the rewards. Um, finally, where do you think Oldham will finish this season? I think we're 17th at the moment. So maybe 15th. Have a push up the table. And then promotion next season, maybe, with a new manager in charge. Wicking but dream. <laughs>